Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris. This is still the press preview version. Things may change between this and the final release, but oh, having some fun. Uh, <laughs> getting a little delirious, it's been a long day. I recorded a bunch of this, then I live streamed, then I recorded a bunch more. And this is right before I travel. This is probably going to be my last episode before my trip to, um, to England for the Stellaris event. Of course, you aren't going to be seeing any of these videos until after that Stellaris event, which is kind of funny, but there it is. So everyone's busy. Let's go up to fast speed. Ah, new ruler, excellent. What are you looking for? You would like more orbital research stations. We will work on that. And construction ship just finished some stuff there. Great. We are going to ooh, get a whole bunch of mining stations. There's three mining stations, I think, for the energy over there. Fair amount of work, fair amount of minerals to do it, but well worth it for the energy, considering we're still running a deficit. But part of that, of course, is because this is a new colony that is just now being settled. Would really like them to grow faster. We don't have negative growth as a racial trait, do we? No, 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 we don't have that. That's the ruler trait. Oh, that's quite nice. Uh, those are our ethics. And, oh, right, I guess it's under the species screen that we can see. Yeah, migration time, resettlement cost, army damage. As far as I know, our growth is normal. Got the wormhole thing, so we can go out further. Excellent. And this construction ship is going to go ahead and uh, build the research stations, because we do have the mandate for that. The sooner we finish, the better. Scientist gained a trait. Expertise, new world. Good for him. And 0% failure risk for this anomaly. Might be a glitch in our system. That's a pretty generic one. Oh, hello. Oh, we can still translate this mural. Uh, which I guess... Oh, we have to go there. Dope. Okay, well... We'll have to take care of that next time we've got an idle science ship, if we can remember. Debris I guess we're taking care of all this debris right now, which is actually quite nice. So a bunch more little research here and there. I mean, a handful of points in a couple of categories. Mostly it's like the free progress towards something. It's not always something that we need or want. Glancing hit. While approaching Penasta, the Trum Yellum, which is one of my science ships, suddenly received a glancing hit by several passing mass driver rounds. Projectiles were billions of year old, years old, and based on their trajectory, they appear to be stray rounds fired from a neighboring galaxy. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for untold millennia until today. The rounds we have recovered are of an advanced design, despite their incredible age. 150 engineering research. Bam! Which is good, because this is a uh, very expensive tech, actually. So, minerals, we've got lots of them. Uh, we could build up our fleet. You guys are still supposed to... Why are you showing this? Is that where you were trying to retreat to or some weird thing? Listen, go to our home world, all of you, and then combine when you get there. There's something was going weird with our ships. I, mean, I think they should be able to get home now. Now, we do have a lot of stuff to construct, and we've got a lot of stuff to scan over here. It would be nice to find a Ford outpost over here. So we did a mining station, we did research station, excellent. And yeah, the Vanguard is idle and the other battle fleet will reach it soon. Now, gun-wise, I don't think anything's really changed with our ships. I don't think we've really got any upgrades. So you guys merge up now that you're in actually at the same place. Lovely. And make sure you're getting repaired. Destroyers! Done! Very nice. Next, engineering level. So, slightly better research facilities and might be worth building. I mean, because we do have like three or four science buildings. So that would be, you know, another three or four engineering points. I guess that's not bad. Unlocks module destroyer assembly yard so we can build the destroyers faster. Colony established. But I think I'm going to grab some of these cheap... I'm going to grab the engineering facility. It probably unlocks further techs. Oh, you can see the list of everything we've researched. Interesting. Cool. Colony done! Okay, you also have to be renamed, I just realized. You are going to be Mastery Indy is the name of this planet. Very alien sounding name. Um, 
Thank you. Well, apparently I can't copy and paste and stuff over here. So that's something to note. And then we're going to change the name of the star in the same way so that I don't lose track of these things. Mastery Indie. Could have a naming convention for like differentiating between planets and things. Uh, encounter and super. Oh, so we just learned about some new aliens. Okay, that's fine. You guys are done that, but you still have things in the queue. Yeah, the spark of brilliance is really handy. And the increased service speed will be handy over here. Debris analyzed. System survey complete. Okay. More research towards some stuff. System survey complete. Both science ships end at exactly the same time. So what we're going to do is the Translate Alien Mural. I'm going to grab one ship and send you here to research that. And the other ship, I'm going to tell you to... And I go way out this way and survey that system. And actually, my battle fleet, which is almost fully repaired, I'm gonna send them out uh, to poke at all these to see if we might be able to find a system that's got habitable planets. They're on passive stance, which is fine. There you go. So you're gonna go there, and we're just gonna do a bunch of that. Good. Rivalry. Oh, the, the uh, Fafossen, which are down here. Fleet. Who's evading? Oh, there's a space amoeba over here. And Ocean World, that's not really our kind of thing. But um, we should be able to take out the space amoeba, actually. So we'll go and take care of that right away. And then you, when you're done doing that, are going to go and... I guess you'll go here. We know that there's no hostile pre presence over there because we've poked it once. We see the name of it. So we know there's no deal. All right. Uh, you're repaired. And yes, the rivalry announcement. Okay, that's fine. Mining station's done, but you still have more stuff in the queue. And we still have the mandate? We do. Two more research things, which should be fine. We've got a few... Maybe not. That's out of reach, I guess. That's part of the issue, too. Oh, we can build another one here for research. There it is. And now the constructor ship is actually research idle. Complete. And... That's another construction ship. Can I see any? That's outside of our borders. I think that's it for our construction ships right now. I guess you can go and build a mining station to give us energy. That's fine. We're getting lots of minerals right now. We could dramatically expand our battle fleet. Uh, but for now, we're going to go and take care of the space amoeba. We might lose some of our corvettes. It's a good thing we can build destroyers now, which actually we could start on. Ooh. That's a definite possibility. So how are these guys? What do they think? Again, they like me a fair bit. They're xenophiles. No, I'm xenophiles. They're just pacifists and individualists. Damn. <laughs> I want to find someone who's a jerk so I can feel, like, justified in beating them up. They're completely indifferent over here. Alright, Space Amoeba. Zuh. There's three of them. Which is actually better, because at least every time we kill one, it lowers their damage output. So there we go. We're almost certainly going to lose some Corvettes in this. Situation log updated. Or not. Well, that's just a component makes us faster. These are different types of guns. I suppose we might want them as an option. The space torpedoes have the higher DPS, so I guess I'll take that. Um, and then, yeah, we have the debris, which we'll check out at some point. Meanwhile, the offensive fleet should probably go and get itself fixed. Yeah, okay, so if I hold... um, There's a button. Hold control to return to a spaceport owned by us. Whereas this doesn't have that same sort of function. But I guess if I give it one of my spaceports... I should have a, face, a spaceport closer to the front. Arctic. Yeah, if we can find a Tundra World over here, that would be quite nice. Assuming this becomes my front. Which I don't know if it will.
Oh, that's the, the outpost symbol. Okay, so that's the outpost, Special I see. Oh, the mural! Yes, the text contains a staggering amount of data, and the mural evidently serves as some sort of low-tech library. It describes in broad terms the collected technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy some 80 million years ago. A lot of it is already known to us, but the data contains several promising leads for technologies we have yet to consider. There's enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades, but we will need an orbital research facility to continue the translation efforts. Oh my god! This planet will give you a plus two of every type of research. And we get a ton of XP. That was, that was over here. Nice. Please build me that one research station. ASAP. And Idle Science Ship, you are now going to go and finish the survey over there. That we tried to do before. That is a huge win. I mean, I suppose as long as I continue to have space to expand in, I don't actually have to concern myself with attacking. It's quite nice that everyone is being kind and gentle right now, while System I just go and complete. occupy everything. Survey complete. So let's go and do this one, since we haven't seen it at all. More rivalries, mining stations. Good, good, good. Idle construction ship. Oh, that one's already being built. We can't reach out there, so I think this construction ship just does nothing right now. Uh, unless we can build another f outpost, but we can't. I might want to... Assuming we can find anything... Situation updated. Mega Aliens. I don't like that name. Alright, and we got debris over there. Well, it's not our science ships that are idle. Um, Anomaly found. Research complete. Alright, let's do it. You don't have the best chance, but what the hell. Research complete on survey speed boost. Very nice. More research alter alternatives, so we'll have more choices going on over here. The shard throwers. Yes, they have kind of crap damage. So do the lasers compared to what we can do. So does this, so I don't particularly care about these. More research options might be nice. On the other hand, I could just complete some of these low-level things, which might lead to some other unlocks. I mean, that's just another lab. I like the basic combat rolls, because the little components are actually quite cool. You add them to a ship, they just either do plus 10% damage or have plus 10% hull points. Presumably, you could put both on there. All very useful. If we can finish the mandate, we might end up with enough influence to build a forward base. Which I kind of like the idea of. Can't go there, because it's outside of our... Um, arrange this oh no it's within their space so maybe over here at cotter that might be the place to build our next frontier base and then our warp stuff so i'll go and preemptively move over there we're currently doing a uh, survey of this system gigantic skeleton we've got a new project for investigating this uh oh and it's physics but we need a scientist to be present there so we'll wait until one of our colony ships are done. Orbital Researcher Mandate is fulfilled, which gave us enough points. Indeed, we will be able to build a frontier base over here. We've got someone heading over to Cotter, and this one here is just idle and really has nothing at all to do. Uh, you, actually, my bad, are within my borders over here. And we actually haven't explored this system over here. Or this one. There's still two systems to uh, survey within my borders um, that we haven't done yet. And we may want to prioritize that because we may be able to build bases around there. Are you within my borders yet? No. God damn. So close. Special project complete. Level up. Oh. We have just met. Oh, these were those, um, those Omega aliens over here. Hello. Uh, depraved species. You must throw away your old ways. So, we found a jerk face, finally! Hooray! Minus 30. So, they are collect fanatic collectivists. They are xenophobes. Wary, equivalent strength. They have a couple of rivals. Hey, congratulations, you're my rival. I'm gonna get more influence. I have an alliance. Do you have an alliance? No, nope, you just have some rivalries. Wonderful. And we are definitely gonna build a base on your front door. Very good. It'd be better if we could build up or repair up over here. We can't, the frontier base, but at least we can get into your space really quickly and easily. You do have three systems. Now, with that in mind, uh, I don't want to start building the ships yet, because we actually don't have a billion money. 
So building too early might not be great. You're in Cotter, yes, and going there, excellent. But soon. So hopefully, how much more stuff is there to? I think just one, and then it'll be done. Oh, what's this? Join alliance request. You would like to join the MJ Coup Axis. Who are you? Not species. What are they called? Oh, I can't see them. Valmexian. Xenophile and licensed pacifist. Mutual rivals. Excellent. Yeah. Welcome to the party, buddy. And it should show them in there, doesn't it? Oh, uh, yes. We're going to vote yes. So all the members in the alliance have to vote. That's right, which I guess I automatically did, because I accepted their first thing. So these two are going to have to vote whether or not to include these people. I think this is abstain. They're not voting against it right now. So they'll get a chance to consider it. Alien species procurement. Uh, okay, a couple of things. So, director of the museum is Zeno... Exobiology on Tsubara. Bari has issued a request for the procurement of several live alien specimens. These creatures were spotted on surveyed habitable worlds, but they are difficult to capture. It will require fewer, full resource of a science ship for a lengthy period of time. Yeah, sure. Begin the alien specimen procur procurement event chain. Situation. I mean, we don't really have a science ship available right now. I suppose we could build an extra one, complete. but they'd be pretty low level. All right, system survey complete. So we do have one available. We've got a few things to do. First of all, I'm going to go to this debris over here and just take care of that. They're not critical. They don't give you that much, but it is nice. Meanwhile, no, Cotter's not done yet. It was this system. No. There's one of these over here, which might be nice, but I think I'm going to prioritize Cotter because it is closer to the enemy territory. Speaking of, what is that? Can I tell what their ship is? That's one of their science ships. Okay. System survey complete. Boom. Good. Um, I'm actually going to prioritize surveying the systems within our borders that we haven't picked up yet, rather than that mission, because I don't think it's timed. Oh, we voted. We accepted them into the Alliance. So, right. So, we got them into the Alliance. So, now we are four systems strong. We got some extra vision. Is it these guys? Yeah, it's these guys over here who are joining the, uh, the Alliance. And we're going to target these guys for our first war. Good stuff. And I think there's voting for some of the war stuff too, but these guys... Because I think the difference between a Federation and Alliance is in Alliance, people have to vote for things. In a Federation, they don't, but the leadership of the Federation changes on a cycle. So you don't, you're not always in charge of what the Federation's going to do, but the Federation will always act unilaterally. unilaterally. So there's never going to be any kind of conflict. You can, you can act with confidence. But sometimes, they might go in a different direction. Okay, so that's Cotter that's finished. You're going to build a Frontier outpost over here. We're going to claim this system in our name. It's going to give us a little bit of border over here, and then we're going to build a warp, a wormhole generator, which is going to be great. We're going to build the Mass Effect Relay is basically what we're doing. Okay, and since we're really getting quite close to these guys who are debris big jerk faces. Analyzed. Oh, debris analyzed. Excellent. Fleet order finished. Wonderful. Science ship, you're going to go. There was one other. I think in here isn't my borders. It is. Survey that. Um, it is time for us to, therefore, build up our, our fleet a little bit more. So we can indeed start to build this. Oh, no, you need a level three spaceport for that. But we can upgrade. Upgrade all the way to level three. Excellent. And then we still have to design the destroyer. Are we waiting for tech? Yeah, the basic combat rolls. I'd actually like that probably before we design the destroyer. Systems Uplift tech just finished. It'll be interesting to see exactly what it opens up for us. You have been surveyed and you've actually got some stuff going on there. So someone can go over there and start with the research stations maybe. And this science ship, I'm going to swing you back over to the front. Or wait, hold on. Alien procurement. Oh! Oh my god, we have to go to all these... What? It's all over the place. Wow. 
Well, we can do one. I don't know if we get a reward for it right away. Um, sorry, which one was it that I was canceling? It was you. There you go. Let's try that again. Go to. Research that. So I don't know, maybe we'll get a reward for some of these specimens. Very curious to see how that goes. Uplift. Done. Remove tile blocker. Mountain range. Yes, we need that. It's one of the ones that we actually very much need for some of our colonies. Oh no! We've met the Serene Cant Empire! <laughs> so those are my those are my race that I made from somewhere else. Right up here. Look at them. Way over here. Serene Cat Empire. Um Hmm. I'm happy they're far away because they are not going to be very friendly. Um Yeah, look at this. Minus 70. Voting rights policy, xenophobia, materialist fools. Because they're spiritualist xenophobes. Literally the opposite of my materialist xenophiles. And they don't like that my voting rights give, I don't know, do something. It's probably because I'm nicer to all the species. And they're xenophiles, right? Because I think we allow everyone to vote by default. Um, let's see here. Voting rights, yeah, everyone can vote. Whereas they think you should only allow the primary species to vote. Hey, these guys have finally expanded. Good on them. Since they're my ally, it seems, you know, I'm happy they'd get a little stronger. That's probably a good thing. Borders are expanding. As long as they don't reach Cotter and kick me out, that would be really awkward. Because we want our Ford attack base. Now, I do have another spaceport somewhere. Yeah, right over here. Which is already level th 2, so I'm actually going to upgrade this to level 3 as well. So, both Sudbari and Charlesy are going to have level 3 spaceports and can pump out destroyers for me. Meanwhile, I guess we're going to start generating armies. Now, the problem is my armies are certainly a lot weaker than anyone else's. Uh, was there where was there an army limit? Army limit on the planet? I don't really see. So here we are, pacifists, and we want to go to war because you know Quill is bored. That's the way it goes a lot. <laughs> I wonder if the borders will reach here if there'll be a gap. It'd be quite awkward if there was a gap. I think like each one of these little systems has a bit of a degree of influence, and there's a cutoff line at which the border doesn't extend, but presumably there's sort of like a fuzzy influence that goes here. And so maybe these two can actually connect one another. I mean, as long as they got a little pocket there, it's fine, because I can still always, you know, just mass effect relay there. You finished some orders. Uh, you can also build mining stations. That'll be fine. So yeah, the mineral count is going pretty good. I can see now why you need to increase the mineral count from time, like the, the limit, because... Um, the ships probably get a lot more expensive, and you're going to find yourself needing to store a lot of this up. More rivalries. System survey complete. Excellent. So, okay, that's the last that's in our border, so that gives us something else that we can improve. But now I'd like you to just move back over to the front. Yeah, we're going to... It's nice that these guys have wormhole tech, because we can share the wormhole tech. Normally, we wouldn't be able to go through their systems because they don't have wormholes. The Solkar swarm has been secured. The Solkar are swarming insect analogs, unusual both in their large size and the fact that they are lithovores, feeding off rocks and minerals in the ground. One of the shuttles belonging to the Trumdiola, that's our, our science ship, sustained serious damage... Uh, sustained serious damaged when it inadvertently passed through a large swarm and several Zolkars began to feed on its hull. The construction of the special containment facilities required to hold these creatures have already begun at the Museum of Exobiology on Sudbari. So, we gain a species collected and 250 science for doing that. Nice! Complete. Very nice. And that science ship is done. So everything else we don't currently have access to, so we'd have to ask for, like, open borders or something. Uh, you finish the construction queue. Nice. So I think we can just go and survey some more stuff over here. Um, eh, you know what? That's a little closer. I mean, it doesn't sort of matter for the wormhole stuff, but it's nearer to our actual border edge. Yeah, just barely. Whatever, it's fine. I'll just do that. So we've got an army here, finally, the assault. Nice to see, and we can embark it, but we're going to build more of them, so that's fine. So, Charlesy, you, first of all, have lots of modules available. Corvette assembly yard. I like the idea of, like, specializing something to build fast Corvettes. And we can unlock the uh, the Destroyer one later on. So, we can build Destroyer now. These, this is the automatically generated class. We're not going to go with that. 
we are going to go, in fact, I will just trash the old destroyer. And get a new one. New destroyer type hull. Um, we want just a single large weapon? That would be very different. And then, wait. Oh, the front and the back! Oh my god! Seriously? That's cool! We've got our level 3 sensors. We've got ion thrusters. So, we'll have a large mounted blue laser. And then a couple of smalls in the back. Giant gun! And then over here... And these are all the same. We need, um... Oh, I still don't have freaking deflector shields. Jeebus. And I still have baseline armor. That is really not good. I know with the fusion reactors. I think we can get it a little bit better here. Hold on. No, either way, it's going to do that. Okay. Let me actually, like, look at the numbers. We need 40. Yeah, I guess there's, this is literally just double, so no matter what, we end up with the same overall number of stats. And this is just literally double as well, so it doesn't make a difference. So no matter what, we're going to end up with a surplus. But I guess I'll put a medium in the front, and then or a medium in the back, and then two smalls in the front. Sorry, medium in the back, and then that. Spreads out the power in case that does a thing. I, I don't know if it does. And we'll just fill the rest of the slots like that. I mean, presumably if I said auto-complete ship, that's what it would do. Yeah, it decides to shuffle around. I don't know. Maybe that's fine. Oh, no, it actually did a terrible job because it used medium power. We, we don't need that much. I guess I could throw in a fission reactor. They're a little bit cheaper. To end up at exactly zero. There we go. That'll save us an extra couple of bucks. Okay, we are going to be named the Anxiety Girl. Beware the might of Anxiety Girl. Oh, fill empty is probably what I would want instead of autocomplete. Or some, I don't know, maybe not. Whatever. Okay. Production cost 209 minerals compared to the flame beard, which is 84. Well. And I mean, gun wise, so this is three smalls. This is two smalls and a large. The large does do, well, considerably more damage. I could have had, um, you know, more smaller ones or whatever, but we're going to give this a try. Does the big one have bigger range? It does. Ah. The small ones have better accuracy. The big ones have bigger range, which, I don't know, might let us start things sooner or be able to focus fire a bit better in a skirmish because the big one can keep targeting the, 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 the most damaged ship. I have no idea if that's how it works. Okay, so the anxiety class design is done. And does it tell us... I think the ship size is the navy usage. So these use two. And it looks like the cruisers will use four. So it makes sense it doubles per thing. Damage of this guy is about 6 per second, and this is about 12 per second. So about double the DPS, double the halt size, and it is more than double the price, but it is, does end up being better. Less evasion, less speed. I wonder if you want mixed groups. Yeah, no, probably. So I'm going to queue up a pair there, and then in Sudbury, when it's done its spaceport level 3 upgrade, we'll also queue some up over there, and it's going to be nearly done. Well, I guess we're going to put a cut in here. Not actually going to chance to start my invasion here. Very curious to see how it will go, but I think it will have to wait until after my trip. Now, luckily for you guys, assuming I've worked this out correctly, the next episode should be, well, the next day after this one. There should be another episode for you tomorrow, but if there's not, there may have just been, you know, the trip may have just taken longer or the recovery from it or something of that nature, so I apologize in advance. Thanks for watching, though. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.